Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll be doing a quick test comparing the brand's new wireless charger Trio versus Samsung Wireless Charger Duo. So I've been asked a lot of questions lately on which one do I prefer, which one would I recommend, which one charges faster, which one is better. And so in today's video, I have two phones sitting in front of us. They're both sitting at 5% battery remaining, and they both have the exact same battery size at 4,500 milliamp hours. So the first thing that we will do is place each of the phones on each of these chargers and we're gonna see how long it would state to charge it from 5% all the way up to 100% because you're gonna see different varying speeds and it depends on which phone is sitting on which charger and also in which location. So for example, it's really kind of interesting. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 sitting over here, this one states that it's going to take three hours and 24 minutes for a full charge and it's sitting on the Trio. Now, when I place this one over on the Duo, it's going to state a completely different number. Uh, this one's gonna state two hours and 31 minutes. So it's pretty interesting to see that the Duo over here is much quicker when it's on this larger pad. Now, when you do switch it over into where you would charge your watch, which you are able to still charge two different devices on here, you'll notice that it'll stay right there at that three hours and 24 minutes. So the amount of speed coming out of this watch area on the Duo is the same speed over here. Even though this one over here is rated, which is the Trio, it's rated at a higher output for wattage, it's because it's able to do a full entire extra device. Now, if you do want to own the Duo, uh, then this is the one that you're gonna definitely wanna place it on, which is that larger area. Now, let's just take a look over at the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So you, you saw that the, the Duo is about an hour quicker on the larger piece. Now, for this phone over here, the, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, this one says two hours and 33 minutes. Now, if we were to place it right over here, uh, we're gonna put it over on this Duo. So it was two hours and 33 minutes. Now, this one's gonna be one hour and 59 minutes. So it says one hour, 59 minutes over here, 2.33 on that one. So let's just see what it looks like right over on this one, which is where you would place your watch, uh, two hours and 33 minutes. So pretty much, again, it's the exact same outcome. Uh, this pad right here is quicker than sitting here and it's quicker than sitting anywhere on this area on this side. Now, the only thing I do have to mention is that I do just love the simple fact, you know, this is where it kind of comes into what do I recommend? So I would recommend if you don't have that many phones, just go for the Duo. This one is able to charge really quick and also charge your watch. The only downside with the watch area is that this one is not magnetic. So even though it kind of has a grippiness to it, you just have to still make sure you're laying it in the right spot for it to charge. Um, but when it comes down over to the Trio, you know, it's super easy. Like uh, it just magnetics right inside of there and it actually holds pretty well. So for my larger family, I should say a family that has a lot of phones, wireless charging, all of them, uh, the Trio is for me smaller family or anybody who doesn't really need to charge that much, uh, definitely look over at the Duo. So that's gonna be that quick, small test, kind of showing you, you know, how much time it's going to be remaining if you're charging your phone from, you know, zero to 100%. So now let's just take a look at this where you only have two phones that you need to charge. So when you take a look at this one over here, uh, both of these phones will charge at the same rate. They're both gonna go pretty quick. But if you have this one over here, the Duo, and you both as a couple need to leave the house, uh, whoever's gonna be sitting on that larger pad will be able to charge just a little bit quicker. So now what we're gonna do is the real test, which is I'm gonna place uh, the, the Z Fold 2 over here for 10 minutes. I'm gonna place the Note 20 Ultra over here for 10 minutes. I'm gonna record where they're sitting at after the 10 minutes, flip flop them, and then I'm gonna see exactly just which one is quicker and by how much. Uh, we should be able to see that this one is gonna be just a little bit faster. So I'm gonna make sure both of these are sitting uh, again at the exact same percentage points, and then we're gonna go along with this test. So we have both of the devices sitting at 6%. I'm gonna place the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra on the Trio first, then the Galaxy Z Fold 2 over here on the Duo. Again, both of them sitting at 6%. We're gonna hit on the plus button. We're gonna go for 10 minutes, see where they're both sitting at. We record it, we're gonna switch them, and then we're gonna see again uh, how they do after the next 10 minutes. But if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and even some of these small tests with Samsung accessories, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button, as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos.
So here we are at 10 minutes and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra went from 6% all the way up to 12%. So marking that down. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 went from 6% all the way up to 16%. But as we saw from before, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra was one to go just a little bit quicker uh, than the Galaxy Z Fold 2. So that's one thing to also keep in mind, uh, but it also depends on which charger it's also sitting on. Now for the second test, I'm gonna place the Galaxy Z Fold 2 sitting over here, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra sitting over here. This one's sitting at 13%. Over here we have 16%. We're gonna let this one go again for 10 minutes just because the speed varies between each device, even though they, they have the exact same size battery. Uh, and also now they're sitting at different percentage points. So we're gonna take a look at everything, but, but looks like for right now, uh, when it comes down to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra on the Trio, it only went up by 6%. On the Duo, the Z Fold 2 went up by 10%. So we're just going to see if that's going to be pretty much the same equivalent you know, percentage changes now that we've flip-flopped them again. So I'll see you guys back here in about 9.5 minutes. So here we are at the end of the test, the Galaxy Z Fold 2. This one is sitting at 21%. Uh, which that increase there is a 5% increase for that, uh, that 10 minutes. Now the, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, this one over here is sitting at 23%, and that right there has a 10% increase. So basically, roughly, it's the exact same amount of increase. When it comes down to the Samsung Charger Duo, it's a 10% increase per phone after 10 minutes, with the Trio, it is a 6%, roughly 6% increase for both of the devices on the Trio after 10 minutes. Now, if you are interested in either of these two charging pads, I will be placing these links below the video inside of the description. It's a way that you're able to choose one based off of your thoughts and reasoning watching this video, and it also helps support this channel. Uh, these are Amazon links. I am an affiliate off of Amazon, so that means I get about 1% or 2% kickback, so it does help support this channel and also get you the charger that you're looking for. So what does this kind of tell us about you know, both of these chargers? Which one is best for you? Now, the only thing I'd have to say is that when it comes down to the Duo, this one does have a fan built in, so it will be a little bit louder, especially if you charge this at, at night right next to your bed. The Trio does not have a fan and it does not get hot. Now, when it comes down to the pros and the cons, there is only one spot on the Duo that is actually pretty fast. So if you're looking for a fast charger, something to charge your phone and your watch, maybe that's the only thing that you're charging and you're looking for the fastest wireless you know, way of getting that done, the Duo is best for you. But if you have more devices, maybe a bigger family, the Trio is definitely the better fit, especially with the magnetic watch. And also too, you can just simply place your phone horizontal with, you know, going along the charging pad. So this way you can definitely make sure that you're hitting uh, that charging spot. So, you know, even though the Trio is just a little bit slower, more than likely, if you're using a wireless charging pad, you're really not that much in a rush. When it comes down to charging your phone super quick, you gotta get out of the house, more than likely you're just gonna place it and plug it in manually, you know, the hard way with the cable. So in a nutshell, my final thoughts is that even though this one little placement, this one big huge circle does charge a little bit faster than any of the, the six coils over here, I'd have to say that if you're somebody who's only charging your phone, your watch, maybe small family, or it's just you, definitely go for the Duo. It does a really good job, charges your phone really fast wirelessly, and it charges your watch. But if you're somebody who has maybe a larger family, you have more devices to charge, you're never really in a rush if you're using a, a, a pad and you want it to be quieter, go for the Trio. Because this one right here with the watch, it's also magnetic, it makes it really easy to charge. Sometimes when I place it over here, I miss it. A lot of times I have to rearrange it so many different times. But after owning this for over a week, never had an issue with charging a watch, never really complained about the, uh, the wireless charging, even though I did notice it was a little bit slower.